One of the most common questions I get asked about the Avid is, what is my takeoff and landing performance? Uh, and honestly, I never answer those questions because I don't know. I have never measured my takeoff and landing distances. When I land on sandbars, I visually know <clears throat> about what it takes to get it stopped, and I'm just using my visual estimate estimation to get it there. But uh, today we're going to fix that. A hunter's going to help me. We are actually going to record our takeoff and landing distances, and that way you can see and answer the question: Is the Avid a true capable stole aircraft? <laughs> So for the starting point, I've got some orange paint and we can just draw a line there on the grass where you're, you'd be starting out. And then from there, uh, just mark with a flag where I see your wheels leave the ground. And then when you go to come back in the land, I can mark it where you touch down and where you come to a stop at. That works good. And then so we can differentiate the difference between each pass, because I think I'll try to do three takeoffs and then three landings. So what I can do is on the flag, for my first takeoff, uh, we could put one and the second two, three, but on the landings, we'll do like L1, L2, L3. That way we can tell the difference between which strip it is. So I think that works. You feel good about it? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. All right, we're rolling. I'm going to the range. I really hope to get out today is my takeoff distance. Why? I already know my landing distances are going to be off because, or long, because uh, y'all know my story. I'm still working off these mechanical brakes. I have not upgraded them yet. And so they don't give you much stopping power. Plus, the grass runway is very wet, so I'm not getting any traction. So even with the mechanical brakes, if I can get them to kind of lock up, I'm just slide. But at least a takeoff distance, we'll get a good gauge of it. I was giving all the brakes you had, but it's so wet I just kept sliding. You don't want to mark where you touch down or where you stop? Uh, both, where I touch down and where I stop at. Alright, all right, I got you about, you're just ahead of that flag there, I got you. Ready? Yes sir. That's all she's got. That's all she's got on the brakes. Oh! That's me standing on the brakes as hard as I can stand them. I'm on the verge of collapsing them, I'm sure. I'll be like Trent Palmer and have a bent floor pan. The other thing to keep in mind is, if I was on a sandbar, um, I would have got stopped in half the distance because the sand acts as a break. Alright, here we go. That was a pretty decent one. 
I probably could have got up a little sooner because once I pulled back, it pretty easily walked up. So I probably should uh, cost myself a couple feet, but nonetheless, I'll take it. All right, here we go. Last landing of the day. Well, last landing of this video. How about that? Oh man, my buddy Chris Jameson. He is a uh, out flies around the Mississippi Delta. And he's got his habit up going. You don't follow him on social media, go do it just because uh, he doesn't really make videos, but he posts his uh, snippets from his flying to Avid and his uh, and his uh, Zenith. Go, go check him out. Like Aviation Con. The one thing that I did forget at the house is a measuring wheel. So we've got my takeoff and landing spots marked, uh, but I can't measure them yet. So I'm gonna go home and get my measuring wheel, come back out here this evening, measure them off, and uh, we'll pick up there. But hey man, I appreciate you helping me. Anytime, man. I was glad to be a part of it, man. I enjoyed it. Oh yeah, it's <laughs> a lot fun. of fun. We're gonna do it again. Seven. Yeah. No way. 227 feet was my first takeoff, which uh, it's not as what I was hoping for. Not bad though. Not terrible, but first takeoff was 227 feet. All right, pretty good. All right, so you're gonna write that. In the yep. All right, my first landing was 219 feet. Yep. First landing 219 feet, and that's with mechanical brakes, wet grass. I'm gonna take that every day of the week. <laughs> All right, take off two, 315 feet. L2, that's uh, 307 feet. All right, so that's 49 feet plus my 227, that gives you a total of about 276 feet. So takeoff number three, 276 feet. So this is my last one. Um, now the question is gonna be, with the grass being high and thick, how much does that play an effect into my takeoff distances? So we'll have to see. All right, that was a fun day of flying. So how does it stack up? Let's see. The Avid, my best takeoff today was number one, and it was 227 feet. My best landing was also number one, 219 feet. So takeoff was 227, landing was 219 feet. Uh, in my opinion, the Avid is definitely a stole-worthy aircraft and if you want to see how it lands on beaches, watch the video right here.